What's up, boys? Today we're going to be doing a player review on Fantasy Foot Rodrigo, A7 rated, Spanish striker. He plays for Leeds. Honestly, I really like this card. He's four star, four star, three star. Wish he was four star, four star, but even though he is, even though he does have the three star, the three star weak foot, he is still very, very good. I've hit a lot of shots on his weak foot, and they do seem to work because he does have decent shooting stats. He's six foot, so this year height is is pretty big for attackers. There's sort of like a golden range. I would say like five eight, and a, between five eight and six foot is like the golden range. Six one maybe. Really depends on the player though. There are some tall players that are very good, but having players around five eleven, six foot is definitely definitely best for strikers that are trying to be both a bit strong, a strong and a bit silky on the ball. He does move really well left stick wise, and he does have the strength to sort of glitch through glitch through defenders, center backs when you're doing. Face, fake shots, heel to heels, croquetta stuff like stuff like that. Taking a look at the in-game stats, he's got 96 acceleration and 95 sprinting. This is a reason why you buy this card. Rodrigo is always a really sweaty option at the beginning of FIFA. His gold card, like the first couple weeks, purely because of the pace stat. This card has stats that sort of match that now. Not really, but he's more elevated than his gold card, and that is very, very good. But he is rapid. He is so rapid. Certain cards have high pace but don't feel really fast this card i can assure you the pace the pace matches what he feels like in game taking a look at the shooting stats his shooting is much better on this card than any other card i think he's ever had in fifa very very solid there and it, i know leads are kind of in the bin right now they've been doing okay and this is a live card so if rodrigo plays i think he gets a plus one which he, i think he will play he'll get a plus one if they win very unlikely <laughs> I don't know about that. If he scores, I don't know. that. That's more of a gamble, especially in the Prem. But there still is potential for upgrades. I think if this card gets upgraded even more, he'll be uh, he'll obviously be better. But I think he'll be really beneficial in, in, the, in the shooting categories, even though shooting is good. But certain aspects like finishing. His finishing and attack position is 87. Both those stats are important this year. But I think it, having them as 87 is good enough. It's not great, but it definitely is good enough. Shot power at 91 is great. That is a really good stat. He was ripping the ball into the back of the net. Absolutely getting his foot laces through the ball, all sorts. Volleys, penalties, stuff like that. Doesn't really matter. 85 long shots is okay. It's not great, but it's definitely is solid. But the shot power is really what stands out and what makes this his shooting feel so good in game. He's a striker, but he does have good passing. Most strikers don't have good passing, and it's not really that big of a deal because they're either really playing him as a solo striker or a two striker in sort of a 4-4-2. And they're not really passing that much. But when they are, it's sort of short and it's not fading away. It's not like wingers need to have good passing for crossing through balls. Same with uh, CDM's beneficial for passing. Some cams always have to be the best passer on the pitch. His passing stats are weird though. He's got insane vision. Very good. Oh, yeah! crossing which is weird because he's a he's a central player it makes you think that you could play him out wide i did try him out wide for a little and he did work pretty well but i like him up top but the crossing is definitely a reason why you want to play him out wide short passing is 90 long passing is 70 and that is a bit weird but the short passing felt really good a lot of strikers make short passes through balls they sort of fall in the range of long and short passes, but his short passing was definitely good. He definitely didn't give the ball away like a lot of other other players I've used. And he has 94 curves. So this guy, he's he's all skewed up on the on the passing stats. Passing, usually players that have sort of the 85 passing have really good short passing or long passing, and then the rest of the stats are really bad. This guy has one good short passing, but the long passing is bad. But the rest of the stats, for the most part, besides free kick accuracy, are very very good and then take a look at the dribbling this card moves he moves really well he does move very well for the price uh i think he goes for what does he go now 45k on foot bin so that i don't think it may rise a bit if he gets an upgrade but i think it's pretty the price is taken into consideration that he may not get an upgrade and even if he does it's not gonna drastically change the card i think it will be minor differences for people that sort of Use the card a lot. I've played a lot of games. Them can sort of tell the differences, but I think if you just play them once or twice, you're not really going to tell the difference. Dribbling, 90 agility, very, very good. 92 ball control, even better. 90 dribbling again, very good. And 91 composure. The only place this guy is lacking is in the balance category, and 84 balance is not bad. It's not bad. It's not great, but I think it's fine. As long as you have one agility or balance that is very, very good, combined with high dribbling stats in the other other categories 
it, it seems to work very well. And he's six foot, so he sort of has the things going on, the four-star skills. It makes him move really well, combined with the pace, the high acceleration, one of the highest accelerations we see, see in this FIFA for, for Prem Strikers, so definitely a bonus there. Composure 91 also helps with his shooting. Since he doesn't have the best finishing, it is 87, which is good, but not the best. It definitely helps to have really high composure, sort of get the ball on target in front of goal. When you're one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, you need players who slot, just slot the ball in the bottom corner, and that's exactly, exactly what this guy does. Reactions are good as well. Reactions are good for strikers in the sense when they're pressing and the defenders sort of try to pass the ball at the back. If it hits them, it sort of stick to them a bit more than if he had low, if he had 70 reactions, the ball would hit his leg and sort of just bounce the other direction towards the keeper. So you can get a lot of tap-ins, get a lot of cheese goals like that with high reactions. So very, very good there. Another thing about this card is he's fast. He's sort of small, but he's also strong and he also can jump. He's got good heading. So he is an aerial threat. 87 heading accuracy, 92 jumping, 90 stamina. 83 strength and 81 aggression. The strength and aggression aren't great, but I like that they're close together. I think aggression has a little bit more impact in game with regards to muscling, muscling the ball people or, or sort of just being a, an absolute presence. Strength is good, but it doesn't have the same impact, but I like when there's a, there was a very small margin between the strength and the aggression. So that is a, just two difference there, which is really good. Jumping's great. Stamina's great. So overall, it's a very, very fun card to use, especially for the price. I recommend you trying him out because if Leeds go on an absolute tear, if this guy goes on a tear, scores a goal, gets an assist, and this card gets a plus three upgrade to a 90, he's going to be at 98 pace, 93 dribbling, 90 shooting, 87 physical and 85, and 88 physical and 88 passing. That is going to be incredible. And if you get, if you buy him for 45k, I'm not saying to buy him for 45k and then save because that, that could be risky. If you want to do it with one card, I think that's fine. If you want to bet, be like, oh, I'm going to buy Rodrigo for 45k. Hopefully he gets a plus three upgrade and not to make coins, just to have the card. But if you really want to get risky with it, buy a bunch of Rodrigos. But I wouldn't, I would say do that with other uh fantasy foot cards that are sort of priced a bit lower and then maybe have a bit more potential to get upgraded but i recommend you guys try this card out for the price he's a lot of fun maybe qualify for weekend league with him but that's gonna do it for the video boys i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please leave a like and subscribe